did the five passengers die instantly? Or was a long and slow suffering? How implosion of Titan happened? As Titan is supposed to reach around 4,000 meters to the bottom of the ocean, this environment, the pressure is very high. It's around 5,600 per square inch of pressure. That is nearly 400 times higher than the pressure we experience on the surface. It's early Sunday morning, on 18 June 2023. A group of five people wanted to make an adventurous visit to see the historic Titanic wreckage. They paid one million dollars for the trip, but nothing goes as planned. Shahzada Dawood and his son Suleiman Dawood were British citizens from a prominent Pakistani business family. British businessman Hamish Hardin, French diver and explorer Paul Henry, considered one of the world's top experts on the Titanic. And finally, Stockholm Rush, pilot of the submersible Titan, also the CEO of the vessel's producer, Ocean Gate Expeditions, an American tow company that owns the Titan. He is going to operate the vessel. They were all rich. Each one of them paid $250,000. The mission is to dive the Atlantic Ocean, just hoping to view the Titanic wreckage and came back on the surface. The wreck of the Titanic lies at the depth of about 12,500 feet, that is 3,800 meters. The Titanic infamously hit an iceberg and sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in April 1912, killing more than 1,500 people. The wreckage of the Titanic was discovered in 1985. The passengers and their small submersible Titan traveled on a ship and went to the Atlantic Ocean, exactly above where the Titanic wreckage lies. On 18th June, a mission to explore the remains of the Titanic started. The 22-foot carbon fiber and titanium craft, called the Titan, was deployed by a Canadian expedition ship and it started to travel nearly 13,000 feet down to the ocean floor of Newfoundland, Canada. Unfortunately, the Titan lost contact with the surface ship an hour and 45 minutes after it started to dive. The communication channel with the Titan and the five passengers is not functioning anymore. From this moment, everything goes wrong. Stockton Rush, the founder and the chief executive of Ocean Gate Expeditions, is operating the Titan. The Titan has very limited capabilities and it is controlled by a cheap Xbox controller. The Titan started diving with a limited amount of oxygen with no way of generating more. Once it is consumed, passengers would be left without breathable air. The Titan started diving on Sunday with a guaranteed 96 hour supply of breathable air. As the Titan lost the connection with the surface ship, 105 minutes after it started to dive, the situation became very unstable. The search began on June 19th. Coast Guards and commercial vessels started to search the Titan. Remotely operated vessels searched the sea floor. United States, Canada, and France are participating in the search to save the five passengers. The three nations deployed their latest vessels at the site just to save the passengers before they ran out of oxygen or crash. Latest tech and satellite were used to help rescue the passengers. 
rescue teams scoured underwater, and aircrafts along with vessels scoured the ocean surface. The search for the five passengers cost $6.5 million, whereas the Titan tickets for the five people cost only $1 million. On Thursday morning, four days after the Titan started diving, rescue teams found the Titan's tail cone and other pieces on the ocean floor. As Ocean Gate pieces were found on the ocean floor, the rescue teams announced that the Titan imploded because of the pressure on the ocean floor. As the environment is unforgiving, the vessel and its passengers were liquefied. So, what's implosion? It's an instance of something collapsing violently inwards. The small Titan with its passengers inside faced very high hydrostatic pressure from the surrounding water. It made the Titan implode in a fraction of milliseconds. At the bottom of the ocean, where the Titan wreckage lies, there is around 5,600 per square inch of pressure. That's nearly 400 times the pressure we experience on the surface. 10 days after the Titan started diving, the submersible Titan's wreckage was found and brought back to the surface. Human remains have likely been recovered from the wreckage of the submersible that imploded during an underwater voyage to view the Titanic wreckage. The presumed human remains will be brought to the United States where medical professionals will conduct a formal analysis. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe the channel to see more videos like this. Thanks.